WSYR-TV Syracuse, the local station. You're watching News Channel 9 at 5 o'clock. Good evening. I'm Christy Casciano. I'm Jeff Kulikowski. Cases moving in a better direction today for Onondaga County, coming off a record high of 238 in one day. That was yesterday. Onondaga County out with 153 new cases today. While, while some areas remain in the yellow zone, there is some new guidance for school testing in those areas. News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan was at today's county executive briefing for us. And Andrew, tell us about what's new for those yellow zone schools. What do parents need to know? Well, Christy, the first thing parents need to know if they have a student in the Yellow Zone school districts, which are the city of Syracuse, Baldwinsville, Liverpool, ESM, Solvay, Lincourt, and portions of North Syracuse, all of those parents should look out for emails from either the superintendent or the building principal about testing opportunities for their children in the days ahead. News Channel 9 was allowed access into the first day of testing at ESM's Park Hill Pre-K on Friday. Today, Onondaga County scaled up this testing operation to get to eight schools in the yellow zone. Seven buildings in the Liverpool District, one building in the North Syracuse District. But over the weekend, the state relaxed the requirements. The county executive explains what's changed. Uh, good news. Over the weekend, the state modified their guidance. Uh, essentially moving forward after two weeks of testing if each school shows that they are uh, testing below a rate of which the yellow zone percentage is we no longer need to test uh, in that school that leaves more rapid test kits for the general community and that's why Onondaga County will now offer the general public to be tested with these rapid test kits. It's for asymptomatic people only. People with symptoms need to use a different style test. But starting soon, the On Center will open up to testing for anyone who wants it with results in 15 minutes, but people have to register. That's what the county executive says is to blame for all of the lines people might be hearing about at testing sites. People not registering will have all the information people need on localsyr.com. Live in Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9.